Victine Gamer here, and yes, Zenless Zone Zero content is here to stay. Thank you guys so much for voting in the polls and as well as um, having enough engagement in the uh, special program video that I made. Um, you basically want Zenless Zone Zero content, right? Well, it's here to stay. It's a permanent thing now. So, uh, well, enjoy! <laughs> uh, well, anyways, um, to kick off the Zenless Zone Zero, um, stream of content on my channel, I'm gonna be doing a Ellen Joe showcase! So yeah, um, I've been playing this game for a lot, and I can tell you that, well, it's extremely fun. You guys do have to play it. Um, it's like Devil May Cry and Bayonetta. Um, it also has some fighting game mechanics too. So if you guys like fighting games or Devil May Cry and Bayonetta, then you should play this game. So yeah. But, um, anyways, um, back on topic, the Ellen Joe Showcase. So, um, this is going to be different than my usual Genshin showcases. So, of course, I'm going to be structuring it very similarly where I showcase the build. Um, I can't do Shiyu Defense, which is basically the Spiral Abyss of this game. Um, because I don't have a second team. So, yeah, um, the second team I'm currently working on is Piper, Lucy, no, Piper, yeah, Piper, Lucy, and Corin, um, which is a free-to-play team. It's either that or the PubSec officer, the Ether PubSec officer comes first. So which either way or, um, I will gladly take, but, um, the only team right now that I have currently built is the Premium Ice team. So, yeah, um... That was basically it. So yeah. Uh, well, uh, since I can't show Shiyu defense, I'm going to be uh, substituting that with Hollow Zero instead. So I'm going to be doing one Hollow Zero run because I do need um, Bang Boo EXP. So I can exchange them for uh, Bang Boo Ascension materials. So yeah. I'm killing two birds with one stone on that one. So um, yeah. And of course, I'm going to be showcasing her against bosses. Probably I'm going to fight against like two bosses, maybe, because one of the bosses is going to be from um, Hollow Zero. So, yeah. And then, well, we could just showcase the last two bosses because there's only three bosses in the game. So, yeah, um, that's basically it. But, anyways, enough about that. It's time that you, uh, well, I'll show you what, I, what you came here for, which is the Ellen Joe showcase. And I'm going to be starting off with. Her build. All right, so here is my Ellen build. So um, before I get started, I have to tell you the story on how I got Ellen because I haven't recorded my summons for this um, game yet. So um, the reason why I got Ellen was because, you know, I, I love this game. So I was like, why not? Why not get Ellen, right? Because she's the only event character. Well, I lost 50-50. And I got Lycan, which I really, really do appreciate because I do need Lycan for the Freeze team. AKA the only team in the entire game. Um, because there's only three ice characters so far in the game. So yeah. Um, so we got Lycan, um, which is uh, my 50-50 loss, but I will take. And then, well, of course, um, just like Hoyo games, um, the next character or the next s rank character that you get is guaranteed, the featured. So I just kept going until I got Ellen. So yeah. And also, I uh, I was like, okay, I got Ellen. Why not get her W engine? I got her W engine. <laughs> so yeah, she's basically fully decked out. She's my first fully decked out character because for Lycan, as you see here, I I don't have him fully decked out yet. He is basically pretty close, but yeah. Um, Ellen is my first fully decked out character as well as fully built character. So that is the reason why I'm going to be showcasing her first um, above the others. I mean, look at this. Grace isn't even fully built. She's almost there, I guess. She's like halfway done. But yeah, um, Grace is not even fully built. I only have Ellen fully built. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, time to showcase my stats. So for Ellen, I went crit rate, crit damage. I'm pretty sure every, every Ellen is like that because she is a main DPS damage dealer. Um, she is there. Um, when, um, the enemy is basically, um, stunned, uh, when their stun meter is full, you can basically capitalize it with Ellen because, um, enemies, um, will get decreased defense when they are stunned. So Ellen is just there to clean up the mess. Um, I guess that's the reason why she's a maid, I guess. But, um, 
yeah, Ellen is just a bona fide DPS. She can kill smaller enemies too without having to use stun. Um, so you don't have to use characters like Lycan or Anby. Um, when uh, synergizing with her, she could just take out the smaller enemies. As for big enemies though, you basically want to uh, get the stun and as well as getting um, anomaly uh, reactions and the like just to stun the enemy so that Ellen can do her damage. So yeah. Um, as for skills, uh, I gave her 777. Um, I'm still trying to fully level up her skills right now. I mean, it is uh, version one of the game. So of course, um, uh, I will be very behind. Um, the others, uh, especially the others who uh, spend polychromes for stamina. But yeah, um, as you see here, 7777. I'm pretty sure that's a comfortable range too, which is the reason why I'm showcasing her, by the way, because level 50 is a comfortable range. Level 4 core is pretty comfortable, and then like 7 talents is pretty comfortable too. So yeah. Um, yeah, I I'm pretty sure that's the bare minimum requirement for a character. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm showcasing her now. But yeah, she's level 50. She has a level four core skill, um, which is extremely broken by the way. So yeah. Um, and then we have her skills right here, which is just level seven skills. And then for her equipment, I have right here, if you could see in the bottom left, Woodpecker Electro two piece and four piece Polar and Metal. So yeah, um, Polar Metal is obviously going to be her best um, four piece set because it does ice damage, and all she does is inflict a lot of ice damage. And also, um, it synergizes well with her team, um, her best team, which is like in Sokaku, because they love to inflict um, they love to inflict freeze on the enemy. So it's basically pretty free. The 20% damage is basically pretty free. And also um, when you uh, inflict the freeze, it's even more free with an additional 20%. So basically she gets a 40% damage bonus, which is pretty easy to get. Um, as for two piece, it could be basically anything. It could be Woodpecker Electro, or it could be the crit damage one, either the crit rate, crit damage one. I went for crit rate to basically consistently get her crit damage in. So that's the reason why I went for uh, woodpecker electro so yeah and of course her w engine here which is her uh main w engine right there um of course i went for that so yeah well anyways there is my um built uh ellen joe um you could probably already uh theorize what she will do on the battlefield but yeah well anyways it's time to actually showcase her this time so let's go on to uh, Hollow Zero and I will just pick a random Hollow Zero. So let's just get to it. All right, so here we are at Hollow Zero. Um, you can infinitely grind this by the way because it does drop a lot of mats right here. Like, um, well, I really do need this though, the Bang Boo um, widgets because you can exchange those for, uh, well, basically you could just exchange those for Bang Boo um, awakening materials. So yeah. But um, anyways, I'm going to be going for um, this one, the core version of Old Capital Metro. So this is going to be the uh, Hollow Zero showcase. So yeah. Um, as for the characters I'm going to be bringing, I'm going to be bringing Ellen, of course, as the leader. Because if I do bring Lycan as the leader, then there's a chance that I can't get Ellen until like the end of the game. Or like the end of the run of Hollow Zero, which is unfortunate. So yeah. But um, I'm just going for Ellen, Lycan, Sokaku. Um, Nicole is here um, because she can combo well with the others, even if I don't get like Sokaku or whatnot. As for the uh, third member, I'm going to be going for Grace because Grace is also pretty good um, on the um, support side too. She's able to um, build up shock really, really fast. So yeah. And as for the Bang Boo of choice, I went for Shark Boo. Yes, I did get Shark Boo. So yeah, um, this is going to be my Hollow Zero team. So let's just get to it. Hopefully I get lucky enough to get Lycan on the first thing, but I usually get Sokaku for some reason. Uh, so yeah, um, Sokaku Ellen is basically fine. I guess I can, I can do something with that. Sure. <laughs> well, anyways, here we go. <laughs> All right. So, um, Hollow Zero is, uh, well, it's interesting to say the least. It's like Spiral Bis where you get buffs, but you move in a grid. So I guess it's just a RPG-esque. Thing. Um, as for this, uh, I've been to this before. Um, I hate corruptions. Corruptions suck. 
Especially if you get a terrible corruption. So I'm gonna be refusing the offer. There's one um, corruption in um, particular that's really, really bad. Um, yeah, it's really, really bad. Um, or like, there's one corruption that's really, really bad where it redu or it uh, increases the uh, cooldown of your um, what should we call it? Of your dash, which is really bad because you want to dash in this game. So yeah. Anyways. All right, so we got Grace. Uh, of course, I'm gonna be receiving that. Um, I'll put her in position one. There we go. Need some technical All right. Um, okay, we don't want to go up, so we're gonna be going down. Let's go here. This is gonna bring us to a random room. All right. Code name zero twenty. Yeah, we just get random effects here. Okay, it looks like all good effects. Yeah, this is all good effects. Okay, I thought it was the bad uh, floor. Um, we'll go with the um, assist. Um, usually I go for um, with this ice team. I usually go for the ice, um, the ice effects, or the ice resinium. So uh, that's what I mainly go for. All right, let's go here. Let's get our bang booze. Um, this is really good. I will take that. Um, right here. Uh, fire damage, electric damage. I'll do crit rate increase. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything else we could do. Um, let's just go here. Hopefully we get lucky with this. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do this. <laughs> All right, our first battle. Um, too bad we don't have any characters that can stun, so we gotta rely on Grace for shock damage. But I'm pretty sure we'll be fine here. So, yeah, let's go! <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. Um, the good thing about Grace, though, is that um, when she dodges, you can basically get a shock grenade in, which is pretty nice. She's able to basically build up shock really fast, um, especially on her team in particular. Alright, um, let's get uh, Ellen's stacks in. Um, she gets her stacks in by uh, dashing into a special dash state, and she gets normal attacks. So yeah. Okay, we dodged that. Uh, let's do E. Alright. Normal attacks, let's do that. Oh! That's a good- <laughs> That was a terrible dodge right there. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Nice. I kind of hate fighting these guys because um, they do take a lot of hits um, and they also do like unpredictable attacks. But I guess for me, it's kind of a skill issue, I guess. I still haven't gotten used to them, but I will get used to them eventually. Um, I will do this. It just increases ice damage. Pretty nice. Um, this is pretty good. Um, I'm going to be going for 500 gear coins because there's, there's a... Um, the cleanser there, so we can just um, use that. Uh, energy shock, no, none of these are pretty good, so I'm gonna be just using this. All right, so this is gonna be our first battle. Here we go. Um, it's going to be a big enemy though, so we can't stun them, which is uh, which kind of sucks. But uh, I guess we'll work with what we can work with right now. Um, so yeah, all right. Hopefully they gave us, like, a good enemy to fight. Oh, it's this thing! These things are annoying, too! Because they love to uh, teleport around and make your life, uh, well, miserable. So, um, it's really, really bad. Alright, dodge. That was lucky. Alright. Yeah, see, you see how he loves to teleport around? It basically sucks since I don't have a stun character. He can't get stopped in his tracks. Um, that should be good enough. He he is close to being stunned though. Um, I just gotta like do a little bit more damage. Ow! All right, let's do her E. She already has a fully built up. Um, the good thing about Ellen, though, is that when she gets into her dash state, she basically is just, um... Alright, let's shoot her E. 
Oh, never mind. He dodged that. Yeah, you hate to see it when um, someone dodges your attack. Alright, I think he's going to be dead here. You just gotta do Ellen's E and then normal attacks right here. Oh, never mind. There is a big guy right there. Oh boy. I want to kill this guy quickly though. Alright. Normal attacks. Nice dodge. There we go. Um, sorry that I'm not talking that much in this game because, uh, in this game, fights are really, really intense. So I have to basically, um, focus a bit. But I still have to do commentary. But yeah, um, those two guys were kind of painful, but I'm pretty sure we got the S rank there. Um, hopefully, we got the S rank. Please tell me we do. Yes, we did. We got the S rank, despite having really, um, weird comp. Besides having a weird, really weird comp, we got the S rank. So yeah, um, basically Ellen just could just carry herself. She's just way too good. I'm going for Ice Mark um, to get the um, the ice damage up. Um, we are one away from actually getting a um, Rezonium boost um, for ice cards. So yeah. Um, I'm going to pick... Um, no, because there's a Restore Health thing um, ahead. So yeah, um, this is a really good one he uh, just buffed. This is also a really good one too. Holy crap, he's buffing really good ones. Alright, that's pretty good too. So yeah. Alright, I got lucky with that one. Um, I'm gonna be hit taking damage here. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna be picking one Razonium. Um, assist point, crit rate decrease, increased crit damage. I'm gonna be going for this one. Um, it won't affect us that much because I'm pretty sure Ellen's crit rate is gonna be decent anyway. Um, we can't call anyone yet, which kind of sucks. Um, we're gonna be going for this one. Let's see what's in here. Okay, nothing. Uh, alright, let's just unlock this gate because we got the S rank. So I will take that. Alright. Take this. Um, let's go over here. Let's rest up. Okay, she wants to take a break. Alright, let's wait. Alright. I think this will um, restore a lot of HP. Oh, never mind. We got her uh, Mindscape thing, which is pretty nice. Uh... She'll be temporarily unavailable. I'll just do Ellen wake up. Because we want her on the team. I mean, it is an Ellen showcase. So, yeah. Alright. Um, let's go with the... Uh, gear coin or med kit? I will go with the... I'm going to go with the gear coin. Gear coins are so important. Um, let's see. Um, that just loses HP. We are not taking that. Okay, let's just go in. Let's see what our second member is going to be. Alright, I think we're forced to gain one, yeah, to even pass this. So let's just take a corruption. There's another gate up ahead, we can just lose the corruption. Yeah, fewer choices, but that wouldn't matter. Um, we could just basically unlock this. Let's um, remove it. Alright, uh, let's pick this. And there we go. Alright, um, let's see who calls in. Okay, so Kaku, um, I'm gonna be putting her in, um, let's put her in position two. Yeah, let's put her in position two. There we go. Alright, so we do have two supports, which is kind of eh, but I mean, it's fine. Um, well, of course we're gonna be going for, I think... Oh, both of these are basically equal. I'm going to be going for um, Sumo Boo because I think he does more damage. Um, actually, never mind. I guess we can't. Well, we do. We're forced to exchange. Um, I don't think we have to. Yeah, we don't have to. All right. Um, let's go with uh, this over here. 
Okay, uh, dodge count or dodge counter damage, uh, basic attacks. I'm gonna be picking this to inflict more days on the enemy. Um, the other one. Okay, we can go for this. Damage is just really good. Anything that increases damage is really, really good. Um, of course, this. Picking that. Um, alright. Let's go with this. Um, okay, we're gonna have Ellen do it. Why not? <laughs> I mean, it's free, so we basically got a free Rizonia from that. Pretty nice. Alright, we gained a corruption. Hopefully it's a... Okay, this is the bad one. This is... This is a really, really bad one. Um... I'm gonna be going with gear coin. Can I throw it away? Um, since we do have a bunch, so we do have a corruption up, um, which is pretty uh, bad. We're gonna be just picking that. All right, we got a fusion. Pretty cool. Get more ice damage. All right, let's go into the um, next area. Okay, so our dodge is reduced. We rely on dodge a lot, so um, it's really, really bad. <laughs> because dodge um, basically allows you to um, react in time, which is pretty cool. But if your dodge is increased, it's really bad. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna be have to be playing with restrictions here. Oh, and especially against these enemies. These enemies are relentless as crap. So yeah, I'm um, having reduced dodge is going to be really really bad for us. Yeah, as you see here, it's not um, helping us do any favors. We're gonna be doing um. We're gonna be doing your special. Alright, we're gonna have to I yeah, I think I think we have to rely on assist. Perfect assist. Perfect assist is going to be the way to go. Alright, let's do normal attack. Let's get her stacks up again. Oh well I perfectly I didn't time that really well. Alright. Let's do her E. Nice. Okay, there we go. We got the perfect assist in. Um, alright. He is pretty close to dying. Um, let's do her E right there. Alright, I think this is going to kill him. Or at least it'll be close to killing him. Shark Boo into Grace. Alright, let's switch back to Ellen. Hopefully we do like enough damage. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I said before, and I'll say it again, the dodge, uh, the dodge decrease is the worst Rezonium, or the worst, um, debuff that you could ever get. Because, like, characters rely on dodge a lot, and there's multiple enemies in the game that d love to attack a lot, like right here. I can't dodge this one, so yeah. Alright, let's do E. Okay, I missed that completely. Alright, let's just do her raw E. That just basically builds up the um, counter. Alright. I think he's close. There we go. Sokaku. Let's do Sokaku Grace. Yeah, Sokaku Grace. And then we can switch back to Ellen. Um, I'm going to be saving her burst. We're going to be needing that for later anyway. So I'm going to be keeping that for now. I would have used it against him, but um, her normal attacks are basically free to land. So, yeah. All right, I think the um, the next four should have a way to cleanse our um, our corruption. Uh, we still got the S rank, which I'm surprised because I did terrible that time. Um, I'm gonna be doing this. Um, it increases the uh, agent's crit damage if it lands a crit, and I'm pretty sure we're going to get our buff soon. So yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to be doing, um, oh, we get 200 for each corruption, but we don't have a lot. So let's just, uh, catalyze two random ones. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that too. All right. Um, of course, we're going to be going here to remove a corruption. So let's just do that. That corruption just sucks. All right. 
Okay, I'm gonna be depositing, um... Well, before that, we gotta claim a free Razonia. I'm gonna be de depositing gear coins because we don't, we don't need that much gear coins in this game. Um, and I'm gonna be withdrawing, of course, um, blood. There we go. So that we basically are able to heal ourselves. Um... Alright. Um, let's unlock this because we got the S rank. Alright. See this? This is going to catalyze one of our Razonia. Um, I'll take this. We'll need it a lot. Alright. There we go. Alright, we got a Z Merit. Pretty nice too. We can exchange those in the shop. Um, let's go with healing, of course. Right here. We can heal ourselves again. Nice. Alright. I'm pretty sure that's going to, yeah, gain pressure. I will not take that. <laughs> Alright, we're on the final floor of Hollow Zero. So let's make it count. Alright. Um, we're forced to gain a uh, random corruption, so let's just do that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the dodge one again. Boss attacks have a chance to do critical damage. That one's okay, I guess. Um, if you know how to dodge, then it's pretty good. Um... I think Nicole... Yeah, I'm gonna be picking Nicole over um, Grace. Because Nicole just does um, a lot of damage. And I'm pretty sure the boss is not weak to... Um, yeah, the boss is not weak to uh, electric attacks. So yeah. Um, I will go with random. Let's see what we get here. Oh, okay then. Okay, so there- so we just pick a side, and that's basically it. Um, let's go with, um... Let's go with this side, because we don't need gear coins anymore. There we go. Let's, uh, remove this. Nice. Um, let's go, uh... Let's go this way. Why not? There's another shop here. Alright. Let's go with the Ice Shaver. Pretty nice. Um, I will take that. We have gear coins to spare, so we can just buy a lot of Razonium. What does this shop sell? Oh, it sells even more! Why not? Okay, let's sell- let's buy this. I think we have enough to- no, we don't have enough. Okay. Alright. Let's continue. Alrighty. Um, I think we're forced to take a corruption here, which kind of sucks, so let's just do that. And let's just take that corruption. Um, there's another gate up ahead, so we can just remove it. Um, we got pretty much unlucky. We didn't get Lycan, but I'm pretty sure we could defeat the boss. Um, no problem. Let's heal ourselves, and then let's remove the corruption right here. Nice. Alright. Let's just grab these, uh, goodies. Alright. Let's increase that. Nice, nice. And then, hmm, dodge. Yeah, I'm gonna take the insight one. And there should be one more shop up ahead. Why not? I'll just buy the 500. Oh, nice! We get a, um, fusion again. Alright. I will take that. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's no... Yeah, let's just do this. We could get three. Uh, three free Razonias. Um, yes, inflict days because we don't have Lycan, so we gotta basically rely on our other characters to inflict days. Um, assist follow-up damage, yes. Um, that'll basically give us a free fusion. Okay. And then we're gonna be doing... Um, hmm. We'll do this because there's only one enemy in that fight. So yeah. Um. All right. Without any further ado, let's just let's just do it. There's only one enemy here, and um. Well, we're gonna have to try hard because we don't have Lycan. We we can't play comfortably against this guy. So we're gonna have to keep our distance and whatnot. So yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We're gonna be fighting this thing, the uh, chapter one boss. 
So, yeah. All right. We have our resone, or we have our uh, max um, sound thing, so we can't just use our burst at any time. But we're just gonna be using Ellen to chip away at his first phase. He's a she's already at the point where I can just do a big damage on this thing. All right, nice. We've triggered the perfect dodge. All right, let's just do normals. Nice. We got the dodge in. Ow, that hurt. I think it- oh, well, it did the spin attack. I thought it would do something else. Alright. Let's do normals again. Alright, we triggered another perfect dodge. Alright. Alright, it's at freeze. There we go. Okay, yeah. Ellen just solos everything. So we can just rely on her for that. I think the boss is close to being stunned, though. So we can't just use our ult. Oh, never mind. I guess it reset its stun counter. Ow, that hurt a lot! Okay, let's do E. This can switch to Sokaku. Alright, we got her banner up, so... Oh, oop! Ow! That hurts. That hurts again! Alright, let's do E. She has a lot of energy, so we can just spam this. Ow! That hurts! Alright, let's do... Uh... That we got lucky there and we switched in time. Alright, nice. Okay, so he is just attacking from um, in front. I will take that. Was his stun at his stun is at 75. We are we are so close to um, getting him stunned. I have to save my energy though, because we gotta have to burst him down really fast. Oh! We got a good dodge in. Oh! Alright. Ow, that hurt. I shouldn't have went in. Alright. He should be close. Um, let's switch to, uh, let's switch to Nicole and let's do E. Ow, that hurt. This'll just give us a free follow-up. Alright, so Kaku! And then we're gonna be going to, um, Nicole again. And then Shark Boo. Alright, now we do big damage! Here you go, guys! Here's the big damage you've been looking for. BAM! There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't get the ideal team that we wanted, but we did get a pretty decent team, I guess. Um, and that was enough to clear the boss. So yeah, um, there it is. There is a uh, Ellen Joe Hollow Zero run. Um, as you see there, she is pretty good, even though I did kind of scuff the beginning um, there, and I also scuffed the end. But yeah, there we go. There is a uh, Hollow Zero run with um, Ellen Joe. So yeah, you already see how much um, damage she's able to do and how capable she is at fighting these bosses. So yeah. Well, anyway, speaking of bosses, that's not the only one in this game. There's two more. So let's just fight the other two and then let's just close off the video. So yeah, um, here it is. Here's some more Ellen Joe gameplay. All right, so here we are at Notorious Hunt. So, um, the boss we fought before was the Dead End Butcher, which is the Chapter 1 boss. And now we have two other bosses we have to beat. So we have the Unknown Corruption Complex, which is the Chapter 2 boss. And then the Twin Marionettes, which is the Chapter 3 boss. So, um, of course I'm going to be, um, fighting these two. Um, I'm going to be picking the Unknown Corruption Complex. Um, even though its weakness is Ether and Electricity, um, you could just kill this thing with basically any team you want. And well, the team I'm going to be using now is the actual team. So we're going to be picking uh, Lycan, Sokaku, Ellen with Shark Boo, of course. This is the, uh, well, currently right now, this is the best team in the game because Lycan just stuns, Sokaku gives ice buffs, and then Ellen just does a bunch of damage. So yeah, that's basically the bread and butter of this team. Um, you'll see what I mean once I um, showcase um, what this team is capable of. So yeah, um, you basically want to do charge attacks with Lycan so you're able to inflict um, daze or stun. I like to call it daze uh, and stun at the same time, but um, I prefer stun. But you basically want to build up the daze meter so it can be stunned. Um, that's basically what Lycan gameplay is. I'm going to be choosing Ellen here so she's able to, um, sh she's able to do her dash attack. Because we're going to be needing a lot of um, things with her. Alright. Now we do uh, Lycan. 
Yeah, so as you see here, this is what his gameplay is. You just want to do charge attacks, so he's able to um, build up the um, daze meter right here, which he is pretty close to. And then once you basically build up the daze meter, you switch to Sokaku, and then you do your chain attacks. So yeah, um, that's basically the main gameplay premise of these uh, of this team, which is pretty good. Right here, that should be defeated, and then we fight the boss. All right. Let's do charge attacks. We're gonna be doing two, of course, so we're able to get the maximum of buffs. All right, let's do. Let's let Lycan do his thing. Oh, that hurts a lot. All right, that's a good dodge. All right, there we go. Okay, so he is halfway done. So we just gotta keep this up. All right, let's do her. Let's do his E. Let's do like two of his E. All right, and then switch to Sokaku. Oh, he is not close. So we'll just do another Sokaku E. All right, there we go. All right, Lycan the Sokaku into Shark Boo Ellen. That should give us a lot of damage right there. Yeah, and then we can do her full E because we have enough energy for that. And then her Q. Get him quickly done to his second phase. So yeah. Um, that's basically the main gameplay um, for this thing. You saw there, you just do Lycan and then you switch to Sokaku. And then you do Ellen damage. That's basically the main premise of the um, Ice Team. It's what you're going to be mostly be seeing. So Lycan just takes all the hits for you because Ellen and Sokaku are basically kind of um, squishy. So you want them to, you want to hide them basically um, before you're able to do damage. Um, Sokaku is just there for the buffs, but you can use Sokaku for um, days if you have enough energy because her um, her E does a lot of days. All right, let's do dodge. Let's do dodge again. I think oh we can't do a third dodge. That's fine. Alright. There we go. His stun was almost up, so I just switched to Sokaku so we're able to get the um, ice damage buff. And there we go. Shark boot into Ellen. Yeah, you get you get you know this combo already. Alright, so we're able to do Shark Nami right there. Pretty nice. Able to do um, normal attacks. There we go. All right, now it has one more phase, or or I just have to do this one more time, basically. All right, let's do the same thing again. Do do Lycan stun into um, Sokaku. Okay, I missed that E. That was pretty bad. All right, let's switch to Sokaku because her E does a lot of stun right here, as you see. I mean, look at that. It's five per E. Which is pretty nice. Alright. Let's switch to Lycan. And let's um, apply the last remaining stun. There we go. Alright. Now we do the combo again. Um, this time I went for Ellen first. Because I'm pretty sure uh, we're able to do enough damage here. To end this thing for good. Alright. Let's do Q. There we go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but as you see there, um, Ellen just does lots of damage. He's, she's able to quickly melt bosses um, with ease. Yeah, that's just Ellen for you. So yeah, um, you get what I mean by she's probably like the best DPS in the game because she is um, literally the best DPS in the game. She, there's no contest. Um, so yeah. Well, anyways, we have one more fight to go to and then we're gonna be uh, closing off with um, the overview and final thoughts. So um, yeah, let's just fight the other boss, which is the Twin Dancers. All right, so here we are with the last boss battle before we get to the overview, which is the Twin Marionettes. So um, of course they're weak to ice, so this is going to be like a total massacre. Um, their whole gimmick, um, spoiler alert if you haven't beat chapter three yet, their whole gimmick is that um, they're basically like the Genshin Vishaps. Um, where if you kill one of them, it revives the other, uh, or the other revives the, uh, the downed, um, enemy. So basically, if you kill one of them, the other one is just gonna revive that guy. 
So, yeah, you basically want to kill them both at the same time. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, let's go with Ellen, because we need her um, stacks, of course. Alright. Let's get these two stacks in. Let's um, switch to um, Lycan. And let's do a stun thing again. Yeah, so, I mean, you already get the gameplay for this team. You want Lycan to do stun, and then you do Sokaku for um, buff. Pretty basic, really. There we go. Alright, let's do E again. Alright, Lycan into Ellen because um, we don't have that much long of a stun, stun timer right there. So, yeah. Alright. I think one normal attack should do it. Oh, never mind. We have to do two. Okay. I think the toy- yeah. Um, the ballet dancers are spawning right now. Um, let's go to Lycan. Okay, so we're gonna have to- we're gonna be abusing a lot of dodges here. Because they love to spin around and attack a lot. Which is pretty nice because it's, we're able to build up days pretty quickly. Let's do E again. Alright. One of them is going to be stunned right here. So we're going to be switching to Sokaku. Get the perfect assist in. Um, Sokaku into... Um, Ellen. Yeah. Let's do Q again. I think this is going to lead us to another um, follow-up. Yeah, there we go. Sokaku... And then... Alright, so both of them are pretty- basically almost dead, so we can't just get away with, um... Ellen. Okay, we're gonna be have to dodge these three attacks right here. Alright. Let's do Shark Nami. We have enough energy for it anyway. There we go. Okay, we are close to... Almost done. Alright. We gotta be dodging- we have to dodge this attack. Ow, that hurt. Ow, that hurt too. There we go. One of them should be dead right here. Nice. And then let's kill this one. There we go. Alright, yeah. I mean, you you see you see the point here. Ellen is just way too good. She's able to kill enemies really fast, especially in her team. Yeah, I guess Sokaku did the most work. So yeah. Well, anyways, there you go. Um, there are the uh, bosses. Um, as you see there, Ellen just destroyed all of them. So yeah. Um, well, you probably already know what my overview and final thoughts are in the character, but I will do it anyway. So anyways, let's just move on to the overview. So here is Ellen Joe, the uh, maid of Victoria Housekeeping, or aka their newest member of Victoria Housekeeping. Yeah, you think that Corin was the newest member, but nope, it was Ellen. Ellen is the um, newest member of Victoria Housekeeping. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, it's time to talk about um, Ellen and her kit, and then give my final thoughts on her. But you probably could tell based on the gameplay of the video what my final thoughts on Ellen are. Well, uh, probably stay tuned for that if you don't know. But if you do know, then you know. Well, anyways, let's talk about her kit. So her core skill, core passive sharp tooth. Um, when Ellen launches a charged scissor strike during dash attack, Arctic Ambush or consumes a Flash Freeze charge to activate basic attack. Flash Freeze trimming, the skill's crit damage is increased by 75%. And she also gets an additional ability, Rising Storm. When another character in your squad shares the same attribute or faction, when Ellen deals ice damage, subsequent ice damage increases by 3% for 10 seconds. This effect can stack up to 10 times and repeated triggers reset the duration. So basically what this is trying to um, tell you is that when she does the charge scissor attack, which is um, the thing I always use to get my stacks in, um, she's able to um, use a normal attack. Um, that in that basically gives you um, flash freeze damage that increases by 75%. Yeah, so basically, when you use a basic attack, you're basically you're getting a 75% damage or uh, 75 crit damage boost, which is pretty pretty busted because you're gonna be doing this a lot. You're gonna be doing the charge attack scissors a lot. 
um, to get your ice damage stacks in so you're able to do ice damage normals. And also, on top of that, you get ice damage anyway um, if, uh, and all you need is another ice character or another character in the Victoria Housekeeping faction, which is basically just Lycan. So you can either run Lycan or Sokaku. Sokaku is a free-to-play character that you get in this game. So yeah, she you get it for free. And Ellen already becomes a monster right off the gate. So yeah, basically, you're able to increase the crit damage you deal by 75% as long as you're able to inflict a flash freeze charge on normal, which is all the time because you're going to be getting ice stacks anyway. And you also get a bunch of ice damage. So yeah, it's pretty nice. This is a really, really good core skill. Um, really, really good, especially on a ice DPS like Ellen. And let's talk about her, baso her basic kit. All right, so... Her basic attack, which is Saw Teeth Trimming, um, which is activated by doing normal attacks, you're able to unleash up to three normal attacks, and you're able to press or repeatedly hold the normal attack during the third attack to extend the duration. So um, I don't normally do that. Um, you can try to to get to squeeze in a little bit of extra damage, but I only do it. Um, because I want to do another set of normal attacks. So yeah, um, it's better to do a um, two fast set of normal attacks than to do um, one with an extended one. Because the stun timer for enemies is pretty low. So you want to do at least um, double um, normal. Um, that should be the optimal um, damage dealing route. But if you really want to uh, be stylish and extend the third attack damage. It's, her third attack damage actually scales pretty good. But um, yeah, you can't just do the extended normal attack thing. And also, the thing I was talking about about our core, Flash Freeze Trimming, she's able to um, basically unleash um, ice damage as long as you have um, Flash Freeze stacks up. She is able to have up to six Flash Freezes, of course, um, as I said before. It's the thing on her top left. So yeah. Um, She's able to do ice damage. Each attack is able to consume one flash freeze charge. Thankfully, though, that your um, dash attack, um, if you hold it, if you do the scissor attack, you're able to get three flash freezes, which is enough to do one normal attack. So um, if you can't afford to do two, then you can at least do one with the third attack extension, which is pretty nice. And as for her dodge, she has a lot of stuff to talk about. So, um, well, let's just go over it. So her dodge vortex is um, basically um, just a normal dash attack. Um, there's really nothing for me to say. It's just a normal dash attack. She's able to get, by the way, um, fun fact, she's able to get one charge off of this, which is pretty nice. Um, also, um, the thing that you probably saw me do a lot, which is roaming hunt, you're able to do this by double tapping the dash attack, or not the dash attack, you could activate it by double dashing or double dashing. Yeah, so basically double tap dodge. Or you hold dodge. Um, I do double tap because it's way faster. If you hold it, you have to wait for at least like half a second for her to go into the roaming hunt state. But during the roaming hunt state, you can basically move around way faster. And also, she's able to dodge way easier in the roaming hunt state, which is pretty nice. And also, uh, she's able to deflect bullets as well. Because um, she is a character who can deflect bullets. Like uh, similar characters like Anby and Soldier Eleven. They can also deflect bullets. So yeah, um, Ellen is also a character who can deflect bullets in the uh, run state. So yeah. But um, in this state, she's able to do her um, charge attack. Which is the uh, ice scissors. And she's able to get three stacks off of it if you do hold it. Uh, one, by the way, if you just press it. So yeah, um, this state will basically allow you to get into the scissor state. So yeah, I think they talk about it right here. So yeah, in the roaming hunt state, um, Arctic Ambush, that's what it's called. When, you hold, when you're in the uh, roaming state, you just have to press the normal attack to get a flash freeze. If you hold it, you get three flash freezes, which is nice. And also, um, it has a um, anti-interrupt thing, which is pretty nice. Which means that um, when you do the uh, scissor attack, um, when you charge it, um, you basically take less damage. So yeah, um, so basically, um, it's hard to basically get interrupted on the attack. You saw like there, like um, like Lycan could get interrupted, or um, other characters get interrupted if they do like attacks and stuff. Um, 
Mostly, all those characters, though, do have anti-interrupt, like Lycan. Lycan has anti-interrupt on his E. Sokaku, if you hold the E, has anti-interrupt. And then, um, the same case for Ellen, if you do her, uh, charge attack, um, on her, um, roaming state, she's able to, um, get the anti-interrupt, which is pretty nice, because you want to get Ellen stacks anyway, which is pretty, pretty good. And right here, they just talk about flash freezes. Again, I said before, you can have up to six flash freezes, and those flash freezes is able to do damage. So, yeah. Um, this is just talking about her dash attack. So, her normal dash attack just does physical damage. Pretty basic. Um, her other dash attack, Cold Snap, is just when you press um, the uh, normal attack, which is pretty nice. Is able to um, do damage. Pretty nice. Um, and then Reef Rock is when you do a perfect dodge. So when you do a perfect dodge, um, you're basically able to do ice damage, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, um, she's pretty basic really um, on the uh, dash attack spectrum, but um, this is how you could get her um, ice stacks, which is pretty nice. She has pretty good dash attacks. I'm gonna say that. If they're pretty fast, um, they do good damage. So yeah, don't sleep on it. And as for her assist, we have her quick assist and her defensive assist and assist follow-up. So her quick assist, um, this is when um, your character gets knocked back and you press the space bar. Or um, in this case, C or um, whichever way you prefer. C or space bar. She's able to teleport in front of the enemy and do ice damage. So yeah. Um, it's basically um, pretty, pretty free. And also, uh, when you um, switch in, you can just move around and you're able to enter the roaming state immediately, which is pretty nice. It means that you're able to get stacks again. So yeah, um, it's pretty good to uh, switch in with her every now and then to do a um, knockback assist. But um, if you're doing a no damage run, this is basically kind of useless. Uh, so yeah, but um, it's pretty nice that she's able to get into the roaming state for free. Um, and also, um, able to keep up the pressure on enemies, which is pretty nice. So, yeah. As for defensive assist, um, this is when you do a perfect, um, assist. Um, you basically just press a space and she's able to do damage, um, which does massive daze, um, damage, which is pretty nice. And then her, uh, follow-up attack, which is just, um, after a defensive assist, aka, um, pressing, um, or... Yeah, pressing the thing. You're able to basically uh, go up and do a charge attack, which is pretty, pretty nice. So yeah, um, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, it's just it's just a, a follow-up attack that you're able to do. So yeah. Um, yeah, all of her assists are pretty good. She's able to do um, damage. Um, she's able to help out the team. So yeah, and she gets a free dash state on um, the quick assist, which is pretty nice. All of her assists are fine. Really, I mean, um, most of the time though, she's just gonna be off field before you do damage on um, the uh, burst window. So uh, yeah, you're not gonna see this as much, but they're still good if you activate them. So yeah. And her special attack. This is one of her bread and butters besides her normal attack and her dash, of course. But um, her special attack, Drift. When you press E, you're able to do a tail swipe dealing ice damage. This is when um, you don't have energy. Um, but with the energy, you're able to do two attacks. Yeah, pretty nice, right? And when you do E, you're able to get flash freeze, which is pretty cool. So she's able to gain a lot. And um, there is another one. If you have enough um, energy, um, basically half a bar or, or almost like fully half a bar. It's either half a bar or um, past half a bar. But she's able to do a Shark Nami, which does even more damage. And she's able to gain more Flash Freeze stacks, which is pretty nice. And also, when you do Shark Nami, you're able to do a third normal attack. Yeah, remember when she uh, kicks the spear and it does um, big damage? Yeah, you're able to hold it too, by the way, because it is part of her normal attack. So yeah, um... Basically, you can just do Shark Nami into normal, which is nice. Um, this is probably going to be one of your main damage dealing moves. Because by the time the enemy is stunned, you'll basically have Shark Nami ready. So, yeah. Um, really, really good um, EX skill. She's able to get Flash Freeze charges, so you're able to do a normal attack for free. So, yeah. This is just one of her main damage dealing um, things. So, yeah. 
And as for chain attack, this is the thing that you'll be seeing a lot. So um, her normal chain attack, which is avalanche, which is basically just happens when the enemy is stunned. You're able to do um, big damage with ice. Um, you'll see like, uh, well, if you did watch the previous um, runs that I did with Ellen, you're able to do big damage with it. And basically her Q is the same thing. You're able to do big damage again. It's just basically avalanche, but does way, way more damage. So yeah, um, really, really good skill. Again, um, the your normal attack, um, your um, charge attack with, um, I think it's, yeah, Arctic Ambush. And then your specials and then your chain is going to be your main damage. So yeah, um, you don't really have to uh, level up assist that much. So um, I guess the, uh, the priority of skills you want to level up is basic attack, special, chain, dodge, and then assist. Yeah, she doesn't really need assist. But um, her dodge is really, really impactful. Um, because she's able to do um, more damage if you do... Um, so not only you're getting uh, more uh, stacks of your normal attacks, you're able to do more damage. So yeah. But um, I will say it again. Basic, special, chain, dodge, assist. That is going to be your main priority into leveling up um, Ellen's thing. Which is pretty nice. So yeah. And, well, as for uh, that, that's basically it for um, the uh, Ellen Showcase. So yeah, um, as for my final thoughts on her, uh, do I really need to say it? You saw it there. She does massive damage. She is in the best team in the game. She's just the best character. She's the best DPS in the entire game. There's no other character like her. So yeah. Um, yeah, so that's basically Ellen right there. Um, massive ice damage. She just, she's just a god, really. She's just a god um, in this game. Um, she's really fun to play, of course, if you love big damage numbers. Um, she is also a... Uh, well, she is a really good character on basically any team that you throw her on, even if you don't have max synergy. So, yeah. Um, overall, I will say... Ellen is the best DPS in the game and the best ice character in the game. Uh, sharing a spot with Lycan as the best ice character in the game. So yeah. Well, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that um, Ellen Joe showcase video. Um, I know it is kind of scuffed. Um, I did play pretty bad and I did uh, stumble a lot. But I still hope you enjoyed the uh, Ellen Joe showcase video. So yeah. Um... If you do like the video, be sure to leave a like down below. And also, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you do subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you do subscribe to not miss out on a single upload um, that I do for Zenless Zone Zero. You're going to be seeing a lot of Zenless Zone Zero um, on the channel a lot. So um, if you do want to stay up and be notified, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So yeah. And also, um, thank you guys so much for all the support, liking, and subbing really means a lot to me. It helps me, um, well, keep me motivated to do more videos. Again, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. And also, comment down below, what do you think of Ellen Joe? You think she's good? You think she's bad? Um, which character do you want me to showcase next? There's a lot of sh characters to showcase, and all of them are pretty good. Um, so yeah, um, let me know in the comments down below, what do you want to see um, showcase next? And also, um, stay tuned for more um, Zelda Zone Zero content, especially Shield Defense. That's going to be the main um, well, content of this channel. But Showcases is also um, content too. So yeah. Um, well, anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this Zelda Zone Zero uh, showcase video, this Ellen showcase video. And I'll see you guys in the next Zelda Zone Zero video.